for effect on consumers. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Chair. I call the Honourable David Bennett. Thank you, Madam Chair. It was an interesting speech from the last speaker who um, uh, took the green call, but I'd just like to acknowledge Chris Farfoy, the minister, who's a very good minister, um, but um, in this case has been led astray by his officials and by the Labor Party, because in this case we do not need to give the Commerce Commission any more power than they already have. If there's one body in New Zealand that does not need any more power, it's the Commerce Commission. It's had a history of making mistakes over 30 or 40 years in regard to mergers and acquisitions. It should not have any more power than it does at the moment. And to, to even curtail its powers would be a good move. Um, not to give it more power, as this government is intending to do. And if ever you want an example of how bad the Commerce Commission can be in its decision making, uh, look at the dairy industry, for example. The dairy reforms uh, supplemented by the Commerce Commission's role in undertaking that role. They have no idea what they're talking about when they do a DERA reform. They have um, people there that do not understand the industry. They make judgments around the industry that are, that are completely inc incomprehensible to, the, to those in the industry. And yet we want to give them more power. And yet we want to give them the ability to make their own decisions about what they want to investigate and do market reports on. If anything, we should be limiting their ability to make reports and, make, um, and to investigate. They do not know what they're doing often, and they have stopped so many mergers and acquisitions in this country's history that would have actually been good for our economy. And, um, and to give them more powers at this time is something that would be difficult to see um, that should be taken onto, onto board. So, Madam Chair, there was good legislation in this area that was going to be promoted by the previous government. The current government has taken it much wider and given a lot more power to the Commerce Commission, an organisation that should really look at itself, go back and reflect on its poor judgement over many years and actually look at having a better judgement going forward and not giving them more powers and not giving them the ability to make more, more, more and more market reports which I'm sure will not be in the best interest of New Zealand. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. So, absolutely so, is any, you, yeah, you Madam call Chair, it? Madam Speaker. I call Gareth Hughes. What a farce. I can't believe the speech that I just heard from the member.